And yes, we are here to deliver. We're going to do that. And who better than Nikola Todovovich? That's, that's I almost got it right. That's pretty good. Look, that's say good. Anagnost. <laughs> Agnost. <laughs> He's the mastermind behind Flow Studio. I don't know about Nicola. mastermind. It's more of a team effort. But uh, you're the mastermind, <laughs> the diabolical genius. What do you got to show us? So what you saw in the box of studio video, that used about three of our models for uh, our project type called AI mocap. And that gets rid of those pyjama, funny looking pyjamas that you see in movies like Avatar or, or uh, Planet of the Apes, right? I'm gonna show you our live action advanced, which essentially uses about 25 models and it speeds up not just animation, but it also speeds up lighting and compositing of the project. So we'll go next here. And what I do, we wanted to build a really, really simple step here. So I'm gonna upload uh, uh, a footage here, it's a, it's a short sequence, and I have three steps, edit, select actor, and export. So once I'm happy here with my footage, I'm gonna go next, and then I'm gonna go and basically tag my actors. So I scan frame for actors here, and our models are looking for, for the for performer that I can track, right? And then I can drag and assign characters. So in this case, I have this little, little robot that we're gonna just drag and drop. Essentially, I'm saying to a model, hey, track this actor and pick up all this information. And then for this second one here, I will drag this little, uh, uh, little alien character. It also has a facial uh, performance feature to it. So we're gonna, we're gonna assign it. And then I have multiple shots with the same actor. I don't have to tag it every single time. Uh, we use a model called re-ID that essentially looks for that actor ac across the sequence, and it's gonna uh, always assign it. it so you find. tag the actor once, and they always have the same uh, character associated exactly, with Exactly, exactly, same character associated. In this right. case, let's say this little blue robot, right? And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I get to my export stage, and I click Start Processing. Um, and something like this takes about 70 minutes to process, um, and I have it already pre-processed from earlier, um, and essentially all this data is connected from the performance, lighting, camera, and then uh, point cloud, a lot, of, a lot of information, even knowing what shot it is. It is a wide shot, is it a medium, is it a close-up? And then essentially deletes the actor and puts those CG characters instead of, instead of the actor. And something like this would traditionally take about a couple of weeks. As you can see, you get it, get it much, much quicker. But it's not really just uh, the footage that you get out of it, you get all these passes. You get a camera track, you get alpha mask, you get animation data, which is really, really important. Well, so that's, wait, so that's a big deal. So not only are you bringing the power of what big studios do to little studios, you're also giving them fully editable data. So the artist has the possibility and the potential and the capability to go back in and tweak all of this. Exactly. And that's pretty unique, isn't it? Yes, most of, most of the solution right now, so for instance, I can go here and export my scene, and open Maya, and now I have that scene and I can control it. So if I want to move, slight, slight changes. I Everything change else lighting. just outputs video. Video. Yeah, most of the solutions we're seeing in the market right now in AI, it's, it's really a black box. And that's really a key. We try to avoid black box. We wanted to give creator a full editability. So we really are exporting a bunch of 3D data out of it that then you can have and control over every element of the shot. Okay, so it lets them do speed and quality. Exactly. Okay. All right, exactly. fabulous, Nicola. Thank you, Andrew. Keep it up. Thank you, Andrew. All right, let's give Nicola a hand.